this month on PMQ Extra. Dick Waterman has been photographing blues and rock and roll icons for over 40 years. PMQ collaborated with him on a photo shoot of John Arena. Eavesdrop in on the conversation between pizza master John Arena and Hall of Fame photographer Dick Waterman as they talk pizza and rock stars. If you, look at, if you look at the history of a pizza, we can take this pizza, for example, that people would say, okay, this is the quintessential Italian pizza. It's, it's dough, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and basil, okay? The pizza margarita, classic Italian pizza. We have a bread that originated in Egypt. We have tomatoes that came from the New World, not brought to Europe until the 1500s. Mm -hmm. Mozzarella cheese was originally made with water buffalo. The water buffalo came from, from Southeast Asia and basil comes from India. When you look at this pizza, you're seeing, you're seeing history on a plate. You're seeing international trade. You're right. seeing, you're seeing uh, war. You're seeing conquest, yeah. colonization. All of those things are there on this plate. So is it a surprise to me that somebody would come to the United States and say, let's put barbecue chicken on a pizza? No, because we've been doing this all along. Right. Who was your favorite person to photograph? Who was the person that you really liked working with? It's hard. Ray Charles. Really? Yeah. Something just came off of him. Uh, I love Van Morrison. I like people who deliver all their emotion. They just mm -hmm. leave it out there. Janis Joplin was like that. She just really left it all out there. Um, My first, the first concert that I ever went to was Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix at the Singer Bowl in New York. Uh, which basically ruined me for any other concert ever in my life. I know. Yeah. I hear people talking now, like, you know, and especially I live in Las Vegas, so people will be like, I paid $200 to see Celine Dion. And I say, like, really? I, I paid $3.75 to see Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin. Really? You, know? you see, Hendrix was the most curious musician that I ever knew. He wanted to know how, what you did, how you did it, he had a curiosity. And he was a fabulous collaborator. He loved to play with other musicians. Hendrix was the most creative and innovative bass player. He, really? played, he played the rhythm instrument with a melodic guitarist mind. So he didn't just play thump, thump bass. He played bass like a guitarist. Mm -hmm. And he was an incredibly creative bass player. But he was a wonderful collaborator, and I often ponder Hendrix collaborating with this person or that person. And I see in my imagination Hendrix with Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. Great collaboration. Or Hendrix with Miles Davis, whatever. Uh -huh. He had the collaborator's attitude of subordinating himself to make the other person better stronger, be a better lead. And it's, it's, it's That's funny because you never think, you know, you think of Hendrix as being this standalone now, guy yeah, that, you know, like now he's everybody kind generous, of faded into the background. When he's he was, a very yeah. generous, generous collaborator. He loves to make other musicians sound better just by collaborating. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's really not easy because the instinct of the macho lead guitarist is to get out there. But he was smart, he was an intelligent musician. I mean, the amount that was lost over the 30 years or 40 years of him changing, innovating, collaborating, whatever, just mm -hmm. an immense loss. And you said you worked with Van Morrison? What was that like? Uh, and he, I mean, he seems, true, I, I, true. you always hear these horror stories that he's like really difficult and you know, curmudgeon. Difficult? Start it difficult and go from there. He's just, in other words, he has the ability to be so good and so great, but he's so difficult by, by, by personality, and it's like he can't help himself. But musically, and you have to split it to treat the Van Morrison or whatever, is genius, mm -hmm. just genius. And his body of work is so large and extensive and there's so much good stuff that you said 
Hendrix could have done this, could have had this body of work, and then you step back and you realize how great the loss of Hendrix was. Mm -hmm. I've enjoyed this. I Thank really you so it. much. Thanks for watching PMQ Extra. Visit us online at pmq.com. Follow us on social media.